So we're talking with the fabulous Martha Plimpton, who's playing Gladys Bumps in the revival of Pal Joey. So Martha Plimpton, chorus girl, has this always been like a long-held dream? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, yes, it has. Of course it has. I mean, ever since you're a little girl, I've always wanted to... Do, listen, when I was a little kid, I did musicals, but it wasn't like this. I mean, they were crazy avant-garde downtown with the brilliant Elizabeth Suedos, you know, and puppets by Julie Taymor. But it wasn't like this kind of classic Rogers and Hart. I mean, you don't really... I mean, it's a dream come true. Oh. I'm very lucky to be here. I'm very happy to be here. When I try to ring the bell... Uh, now, one thing is the character of Gladys has, um, in this version by Richard Greenberg, has ch changed a little bit, both from the original, certainly from the movie where she barely exists. And one of the biggest changes is that Gladys gets a song called Zip, which is one of the most famous songs in the show. Now, compared to a year where you, or a couple of years where you've had to memorize the words of Tom Stoppard and Carol Churchill, what's harder, Stoppard, Churchill, or the lyrics to Zip? <laughs> That's a really good question. And I'm going to have to tell you on opening night because we haven't started working on that song. I mean, we've worked on the song, but um, we haven't rehearsed it or choreographed it yet. I mean, there's a lot of words in that song. There's a lot. But I know that between Joe and Paul Gimignani and Graciela, I know, I think it's going to be kind of great. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of great. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with it yet. We're going to make it a surprise. But everybody knows that song. So it's a lot of pressure. Yes, I mean, Elaine, St Elaine Stritch sang it during At Liberty because it was her part when she did the revival. Is that a little scary to follow in Elaine Stritch's footsteps? Luckily, there's some intervening years between the footsteps, you know, so maybe I get to make a few of my own, but I know that, I mean, listen, there's no way. You can't follow in Elaine Stritch's footsteps. You cannot fill those shoes, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to do my own thing here and hope that, it, that she approves is really what I'm going to pray for. I got my fingers crossed. Okay, Elaine? Be kind. I adore the great Confucius and the lines of luscious Lucius Zip. I am so eclectic. I don't care for either Mickey Mouse and Mooney make me sicky Zip. I'm a little hectic Zip. I am dead. Gladys is not necessarily, at least in the versions I know, the most sympathetic character in the book. She, she's a little bit of a schemer. <laughs> no, you're just wrong. You're wrong. Gladys, here's this deal about Gladys. Gladys, listen, Joey's a heel, all right? Absolutely. He's a little bit of an anti-hero. He's not the greatest guy in the world. You know what I'm saying? So Gladys kind of has to, uh, her work cut out for her. I think Gladys, she's got his number. And you know, he puts her in a tough position. He really does. She may not make the best choices all the time, but her heart is in the right place. She means well. But the fact is, she's a woman alone in show business. And so she's gotta make some tough choices. And if somebody gets hurt, you know, they might've been asking for it. Is this Gladys or is this Martha? Let's just say I, I empathize with Gladys's plight. <laughs> 